We're in day 14 of our 40-day fast, and this week we're in Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 through 48. Tonight, I just want to leave you with a thought or two about verses 31 and 32 of that chapter 5, where Jesus talks about divorce. The essence of Jesus' teaching is that divorce should not be an easy option. It's very striking that he would talk about divorce right after he has taught about anger and adultery, two of the prime suspects, two of the major culprits in most divorces. The reason that divorce should not be an easy option, among other reasons, is one of the practical reasons is it's is that marriage is God's laboratory for discipleship. It's where we take advanced intensive courses in forgiveness and unconditional love. And it's where we learn how to not be offended and to take things personally. And so when you bail out instead of working it out, you miss out on some of God's prime lessons in discipleship. But more importantly, marriage in general, the institution of marriage, speaks to something about God's character. And when we take marriage lightly, uh, particularly as Christians, and when we uh, divorce, it says something untrue about God because what marriage actually is a picture of, it's a living visual of, is the love God has for his people, the love Christ has for his church. And the truth of the matter is that God loves unlovable people. He forgives, from our perspective, unforgivable things. And marriage was designed to be uh, another reflection of his image, another reflection of his glory. It was designed to tell the truth about him and his love for his people. And so when we uh, pull asunder what God has super glued together, then uh, not only are we doing ourselves damage, doing children damage, doing the society damage, but we're saying something untrue about God. So for those of you who are married, I want to challenge you to hang on in there and to keep forgiving, keep loving, to keep remembering that you, you got to stop taking it personal and remember that you're living as unto the Lord. So husbands, love your wives like Christ loves the church uh, because if he loved you that much, surely you can love somebody uh, the way he's loved you. And wives, honor and uh, respect your husbands as the church uh, ought to respect and honor Christ. For those of you who are not married, don't just jump into marriage. Don't take it lightly because it's something that's very serious to God. Um, so serious that the Bible starts out, second page of the Bible, with a wedding and then the last few pages of the Bible are about the wedding supper of the Lamb. So obviously, everything in between it, um, speaks to the love of Christ, the sticky love of God, and how he's married to those of us who are flawed and fickle and who uh, very seldom get it right. So if he can love us like that, surely we can love one another in the same manner. God bless you. Have a great night.